Hi and welcome back everybody. We're at the Pembrokeshire Coast National Park this morning and uh, you can see there Stack Rocks, also known as the Elligug Stacks. And then to my left, your right, is the Green Bridge of Wales. It's only a two minute walk. The reason they're called the Elligug Stacks is because Elligug is the Welsh name for Guillemot. And at springtime, those stacks are covered with thousands of guillemots along with razor bills and other things as well. So right along this coast the wildlife is amazing. You've got all sorts, you'll see seal pups, there's um, butterflies, there's all sorts of different birds as well. There's caves along the way, there's blowholes. It's a really impressive bit of the coastline. If you ever get the chance to see it on a stormy day it's fantastic. Uh, just a point to remember is that because it is the access is through the firing range in Pembrokeshire you do have to just check that everything is open it's open at weekends but you just might have to check uh, different times um, it's open through the week so I'll put some photos up with some settings as well um, good lens to have anything from about 16 to 35 really 16 mil and down um, and you can get the whole of the uh, the stacks in So now I've got some shots of the, the stacks, we'll go over to the Green Bridge of Wales. So I'm at the Green Bridge of Wales, stunning place, such a short walk from the car park. It's an accessible uh, by just about anybody really. Uh, if you do have children or dogs or anything like that, you do want to keep them uh, close to you though because it's a big drop down there. So the reason they call it the Green Bridge of Wales is because of the vegetation on the top that you'll probably see when it gets brighter. Uh, it's about 80 foot tall and it's made out of limestone and it's a really impressive place. 